Section 4. At the end of the section, you should be able to discuss the seasoning of timber. The seasoning of timber means preparing the timber by removing excessive moisture content for its intended purpose. Why is it important to remove the excessive moisture from the wood? How can we possibly remove moisture from wood? As we established earlier, seasoning of timber is the means of reducing the excessive moisture content in the wood for the following reasons. One, dry wood is lighter and stronger than wet wood. Two, dry wood is more durable than wet wood. Three, dry wood is less vulnerable to insects attack than wet wood. Four, well-seasoned lumber is easier to work with and handle when using tools or machines. Five, properly seasoned timber will take furniture finishes and glue much better than unseasoned timber. Six, well-seasoned timber will keep furniture joints together. The joints won't shake out or twist after a period of time. Types of seasoning. There are two main ways of seasoning timber, natural seasoning and kiln seasoning. Natural seasoning is also called air seasoning. What happens with air seasoning? One, in this case we use a neatly built shed with metal covering and not much side coverings so that air can pass through. Two, the ends of each piece of the boards are sealed to prevent the timber from drying out from its ends, which can result in splitting. Three, there are blocks placed on the ground to elevate the timber off the floor. The timber is placed on the blocks to allow free flow of air. Four, Note that the timber is placed in one direction at the same level and then vertical spacers are placed to give them a different level and the opposite direction. These spacers will allow proper air circulation. These spacers are often called battens or piling sticks. 5. These steps are followed and repeated continuously until all the timber is properly stocked. 6. These timber will stay here for about a year. The moisture content will be reduced by 10 to 15%. The moisture will not be removed completely because timber also absorbs moisture from the environment. Sometimes the timber ends up with defects after it has been seasoned. Kiln seasoning. The kiln seasoning, as its name suggests, is a heating system used to reduce the moisture content of the wood. Let us have a closer look at what really happens with this method. It is an oven-like structure called kiln, and there are different types. The timber is placed in the kiln in a similar manner as of the natural seasoning. There are pipes inside the kiln that provides steam at low temperature, and the temperature is adjusted to allow the moisture to reduce slowly. The amount of heat and steam are controlled by the operator outside the kiln. Timber is usually kept there for days and then removed when the moisture content is reduced to about 10%. Defects in timber. Defects are any irregularities found in timber due mainly to seasoning and improper handling. Some of the defects are 1. Uneven shrinkage. Too much uneven shrinkage during seasoning can result in the timber to have a cup-looking shape and it will be very hard to work with. 2. Knots. There are two types, live and dead knots. The live knots can be worked with in the timber, but the dead knot must be avoided at all costs. 3. Splits. This is a complete separation in the fiber of the timber. Sometimes it can be worked around by gluing it back together. 4. Twisting. This is basically a twist in the timber that might have been caused during seasoning. How to correct some of the defects in timber? To correct most of these defects in timber, we simply cut around these or avoid them. 1. Uneven shrinkage causing cup shape in timber is sometimes very difficult to use, so you have to cut around it. But you may be able to use that cup shape to make interesting designs. 2. Live knots most of the times can be worked with and even add a decorative finish to the work. But dead knot must be avoided at all costs. Cut around it 
or remove it and fill the space with a proper size wood and glue. Three, split in timber sometimes can be widened with a knife and filled with fillers. Sometimes it is wise to use the split pieces separately. Some questions and answers. What is the name given to the lumber that is cut into smaller pieces and are in marketable sizes? Answer, timber. Two, what is the name of the outer section of a trunk? Answer, the bark. Three, how do you determine the age of a tree? Answer, count the number of annual rings. Four, what is the importance of converting log into timber? Answer, the wood is easier to work with in the workshop and also seasoning will be easier to take place. Five, why is it critical to season the timber before it is used to make the wooden products or furniture? Answer, unseasoned timber will result in many defects. Six, what is meant by defects in timber? Answer, any irregularities found in the timber that will have a negative effect on the normal use of the timber.